take for granted, we hardly ever stop to think about how we speak. And we forget that some of the words we use every day might not make sense to somebody from out of town. Words like neutral ground, bank it, make groceries, solid quarter, <laughs> go by my mama's. <laughs> I pass the mop and pass the vacuum. Bobo. Suck the head and squeeze the tip. That's all. You can learn a lot about a culture from the words it uses. For instance, if you knew that the Eskimo language had 42 words for snow and no word for palm tree, you could get a pretty good picture of Eskimo life. Well, it works the same way in New Orleans. Listen to our words, and you won't have any trouble understanding what our priorities are. I have one remoulade, two gumbos, and a pane meat plate on table 12. We have andouille, fresh andouille. We have the fresh hot sausage jambalaya. We have the fresh Creole sausage jambalaya. We have the fresh barbecue sausage. We have boudin. Yes, I'd like a king cake, please. The one with the icing. That's a medium? Yes, ma'am. OK, fine. Thank you. Second line. Second line, bring it on down. The jazz back. Trim this section. Trim this right. section. Six walls. Six walls. Yeah. Right out the trim it. Right, right. Okay, well, right now, I'm with the crew of Shangri-La, I'm a maid, but normally I'm just a crew member and I ride a regular float, you know, and I enjoy that thoroughly. Mardi Gras is, uh, is perhaps the single biggest uh, item in localism of New Orleans. It's a thing by which we identify ourselves as almost as much as any, more than anything else. And it certainly has produced a lot of words that you have to know if you're going to talk Mardi Gras. If you know what a catch is or what a throw is, if you know what a call out is, if you, if you know what, uh, what a crew is, you, uh, are, you identify yourself as local. And uh, somebody from Houston may well say, huh? And uh, you feel superior because you've been through it and all they've got is a lot more money. <laughs>